Good morning, friends. How are you feeling? How are you doing today? Give me a word, a phrase, a couple emojis in the comments. Let me know. How's your day going? Today I'm going to talk about something very important, the early signs and symptoms of Lyme disease, and just some things that everybody should look out for. May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month, so I am sharing my experiences and research with everyone about the fastest growing vector-borne disease in the world. It took me nearly four years to be diagnosed properly, and um, I lost 26 pounds in 12 days, I nearly died to find, to get diagnosed properly. And it took me asking specifically for the Lyme test. So here's just a few things that everybody should just look out for and check out the description of the video for a link um, to a symptom questionnaire that I think everybody should just have saved on your computer or go ahead and print it out and get familiar with these symptoms. So the first thing that we should always look out for is a rash. So um, if you look up on Google Lyme disease, it's just going to show you a bullseye rash. I mean, it's going to show you a lot more than that, but the first image it's going to show you is going to be a bullseye rash. It's a red dot, a white ring, and a red ring around it. And um, unfortunately, less than 50% of Lyme patients recall getting that rash or even knowing about a bug bite at all. So um, it can also just look like a red dot that just kind of spreads away from the bite. It could also just be no reaction at all. So you also want to look out for flu-like symptoms. If you've got like a fever, sweats, chills, swollen glands after being bitten by bugs, that's something to check out. Joint pain and swelling, typically in the larger joints, knees, elbows, shoulders, um, and it could be migratory pain, so it could just be there one minute and then be gone the next and come back. It could also like be in your elbow and then your knee and then your neck and then your shoulder. So um, you're also going to look out for headaches, any kind of headaches, migraines, constant headache, cluster headache, any kind of headache. Um, fatigue, just feeling like somebody just kind of comes and unplugs you and you just feel completely no energy all of a sudden. Um, change in sleep patterns. You can develop insomnia or you could also just become like way, way more tired and be sleeping like 12 to 16 hours a day for no reason. Um, stiff neck, stiff shoulders, um, muscle pain any, anywhere on the body and weight gain or weight loss and then anxiety or depression. So Lyme disease mimics over 300 different illnesses. Misdiagnoses are so common. So um, I'm just gonna share a little bit of my story with you quickly and um, make sure you check out the description of the video for more resources and I always just reach out anytime with questions, okay? So my story unfortunately is not um, that uncommon. Uh, the, the average Lyme patient takes two to five years to be diagnosed properly and I took um, about four years. So I was in boot camp at the time in Texas and my we were in deployment training or we camping in the woods everybody had a bunch of bug bites I don't really recall like a specific bug bite at all I did not get the rash um, although it's possible to be bitten on the scalp or something and you just can't see the, the rash right so um, the my, my first symptom was that my knee just swelled up like crazy for no reason. I went to the base doctor. I was put on like 48-hour bed rest. My glands swelled up. I had some like fever type symptoms during that time. And then I slept for like 12 hours, which is really unusual for me. And then I just woke up feeling fine. And I went right back to the training. And then a few months later, my knee swelled up again. And then I was put on like crutches and all this and um, through you know that would come and go in waves my knee would swell up and then it would be better and then my knee would swell up and then it would be better and by the time I got back to my home station they did a bunch of scans and they told me I had arthritis so then I was getting injections in my knee which like seemed great I was like oh it feels fine so I would get these injections of cortisone in my knee every once in a while and um, then I developed like I had like an ear infection that just got so bad it spread into my sinuses and I got like 
a UTI that turned into a bladder infection overnight and like just little signs that like hey something's probably going on with my immune system but I always had different doctors I never really tied any of it together just nobody tied in all of this together either so um, then there was I gained 10 pounds could not get it off at all um, I had heart palpitations I developed anxiety over things that were fine before I just suddenly developed like an anxious feelings over flying or traveling um, I got really depressed I had these sobbing attacks where I would just like wake up sobbing not even knowing why I was sobbing I developed really intense GI problems and for a year and a half doctors were just saying it's probably Giardia even though all my Giardia tests were clear um, I have eventually uh, oh excuse me muscle aches really bad crazy feeling in my legs and my thighs especially I had just this like hot, terrible, stretching, ripping feeling in my muscles, in my thighs, um, numbness and tingling in my legs. And that was like, I just would be like sitting, feeling like, oh, my foot's falling asleep a lot easier these days, or like my arm's falling asleep all the time. And that progressed to me losing feeling in my legs and arms all the way up to my elbow. Uh, rapid weight loss, I lost 26 pounds in 12 days. I developed vision problems, losing my depth perception. I had cognitive problems to the point where um, my doctor told me I had intermittent amnesia I was, and put me through like a bunch of seizure testing. I had um, literally, I would just be sitting there talking to my doctor and then just forget mid sentence like what I was saying or where I was even sitting. So it was really scary. Um, I had to specifically ask for a Lyme test. None of my doctors were kind of catching on. And yeah, it was a really terrible experience that I'm hoping to share some information to, you know, help anybody avoid this mess. It is the fastest growing disease, vector-borne disease in the world right now. And current predictions are saying up to 2 million new cases per year in the U.S. alone by 2020. So get educated, you guys. Wear your repellent. Check your bodies. Learn these early signs and symptoms, and learn how to just tap in and learn, like check in with yourself. Because for so long, I did not do that, and I really just let these doctors say, like, "Oh, it's probably this. Take this," you know. And even though it wasn't working, I just went along with it. I was not my own health advocate. So that is my biggest goal to just share some information with you guys. Be your own health advocate. Share this video if you learned something and reach out anytime with questions. All right. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Jen Hyla. I'm a speaker, a writer, and a wellness coach. Until next time, be well.